What's up guys, I'm the EC Vlogs, back to another vlog for you guys today. Vlog is EC vs Notts County. It's going to be a massive following for Notts County. But yeah, for Eastley, we did um, lose our last game against Jerry Ball. We lost 2-1, which, again, we could have got something out of it. In the first half, we definitely deserved to at least score a couple goals, but in the end, we lost it. But the Sherman's have to make something. The team got more attackive and somehow get... Somehow get a goal from one of the players because we needed a goal. House has not scored in a rather long time, so he needs to get back in the score sheet. So it looks like this game is going to be interesting. Not cut, we did lose the last game on Tuesday night in the FA Cup against Rochdale. In the last game in the National League, Not Cat will beat Solid or Moors 2 0. So by looking at that, possibly Not Cat might have tired legs. So hopefully, we can take advantage of that. And with our home form, we've seven um, games un undefeated. Hopefully that can be positive for us to go get a win today against County, which I believe we beat them last time and we beat them 2-0, I believe. So hopefully we can get a win today. Personally, I possibly think I reckon we win 2-1. Obviously, uh, as just due to our home form, we've been real good at home lately. So hopefully Strevs can make this team go attacking and not like sort of sit back, which we need attacking to get uh, as as many goals as we can and sort of push for the playoffs and we need a way form to get going as well so 2-1 win for me Team Moose has come out we look like we're playing 5 at the back um, Harper's back in and Hill's back in the squad with Hesketh missing with suit through suspension and Tav missing from the injury so and on the bench we've got 4 players on the bench and one of them, one of them is a goalkeeper so looks like we can't get many injuries in this game or we'll be screwed. So we've got Hare, Magoma, Boyce, Warbent and then Harper in the midfield. Whelan, Pritchard, Hill and then I believe up top will be House and Barnett.
Ashes. Oh, he's Ashes is on BT Sport. Huh? Ashes is on BT Sport. Who? Ashes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful. Oh, he's out wide. Oh, you're not a winger. He's moving in the box. He's a winger. He's a winger. He's a winger. On the bench, right? <laughs> Sam White with it, so much money as it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Can't be the first one again. Because yeah, I have minutes. This is eight games on the feet at home. Thanks very much to our ball boys today who are bezeled in the youth 
under 11 supernovas. Again, thanks to our match day sponsor, Vision Financial Services, and our match ball sponsor, SC4 Carpenters. Stay safe on your way home, ladies and gents. Look after yourselves, your families, and your loved ones. And please remember, if you are driving, to turn left out of the car park. Please turn left out of the car park to ease congestion. Next up here at the Silver Lake is Solihull Moors in the Vanderbilt National League next Saturday, the 27th of November, with a kickoff at 3 o'clock. And that is our city for a quick promotion. So if you are connected to a grassroots football club, please contact Gaz at ecfc.com to book and pay for your tickets for your club. Away travel is bookable in the club shop and at the moment we have Dagenham and Redbridge which is £18 per person. Away travel in the club shop for Dagenham and Redbridge. There you guys, end of the vlog. What a win. 1-2-0, beating County. I did predict a 2-1 win but I take the clean sheet. Second clean sheet of the season which we needed that so bad obviously. This season we've been conceding goals left, right, and centre, and that's the second clean sheet. I think that's the second one come from a home game as well. Which I don't know why our home form's been very good. I'm undefeated eight now. Beat Count two 0 Count we played poor, honestly. Watching them, I thought they would play more exciting football. They like the to be honest, they looked like they wasn't as much as interested um getting the win. But I. As a UC fan, I'll take that any day. Obviously, we are sort of struggling and to get a win over County at home is massive. Take that. Obviously, Barnett did score and House didn't get on the score sheet, but he had like three great chances to score, which he couldn't convert them, which hopefully he can get, get scoring soon, which we need another goal scorer other than Barnett, which will help our goal difference. But hope he can get a goal on Tuesday against Dagenham, hopefully. Also, our next game is against Dagenham on a Tuesday night, which is for 7.45 kickoff. Obviously, it's a London, so hopefully we can get something out of that game as we need to if we are going to fight for the playoffs. As if, as if the players and the club actually go and pursue that. Also, as a fan, I want to like, be in the playoffs, but it's down to the players and the manager to come, make that come true. But obviously, Dagenham have been playing poor lately so since the start of the season they were battling for the title now they dropped on form so hopefully we can capitalize on that obviously after beating county 2-0 hopefully we can take that form into dagenham which last time i went to dagenham it wasn't a very good away trip i think we lost 3-0 i think it is yeah it's the year we got the playoffs um with mccallum yates and stuff if you enjoyed the vlog give it a like subscribe if you're new i hope we'll see you tuesday night